everyone, hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting because first of all, it's all about family holidays and who doesn't love a family holiday? Second of all, it's in collaboration with Jet2 Holidays who have a very, very fun and exciting school trip competition going on at the moment. So I'll tell you all about that a bit later on, but definitely stick around for it because it's not one to be missed. But at this time of year, I tend to get quite a lot of messages on social media or emails and things like that asking about our holiday experiences as a family and where we would recommend going. So I just thought I'd share where we've been, how we found it, to help out any of you who are looking for a family holiday this year. So the first abroad destination that we went on holiday as a family, it was just the three of us at the time because we hadn't had Lachlan, it was just Isla, was Greece. We went to Rhodes and it was really, really great. I didn't realize the flight time was as long as it was. I thought it was an hour and a bit less than what it actually was. So. That was a bit of a stress because Isla was at a very sort of interesting age, but if you got a nighttime flight, it would be completely fine. We had one that was at a really awkward time in the morning, which meant she was wide awake. Roads in Greece as a whole, we went in September. Yeah, late September time. And it was really good. We didn't get the best weather, so I probably recommend maybe doing it a little bit earlier in the season. We did have a bit of rain and quite a few like thunder and lightning storms, but we did also have a lot of sun, so it kind of balanced out in the end. And it was such a beautiful country. We got out about, we went exploring, we went to beaches, we went to the old town, we went all about doing all sorts of bits and pieces. We hired a car and yeah, we had a really, really good holiday. The food was really good. They love children. So everywhere was really family friendly and there's plenty of food and things like that for Isla to choose from. In terms of how expensive that one was, it was an all right holiday. It was fine. We kind of splurged a bit on our hotel and that, but general day to day being out and about and spending money on food and drink. It wasn't particularly cheap or particularly expensive. It was just kind of in the middle, just like at home. So yeah, we definitely recommend Rose, definitely recommend Greece for a family holiday. The second holiday we did, just the three of us again, was to Mallorca, which slots in nicely for this Jet2 holidays competition because that is to win a trip to Mallorca. But yeah, Mallorca was great. Mallorca was so much fun. It's literally so close. The flight time was barely anything. It was really, really easy to do. And then our transfer time from our flight to our hotel was really great as well. Nice and quick. We got great weather. This time we went in May, I think it was. Yeah, May before Rob deploying. And we had such a good time. We stayed right on one of the beaches. So we had the option of being at the beach or being at our hotel. And we did spend a lot of time on the beach actually, which I absolutely love. Kids love the beach. They just love sand, don't they? I tend to go for destinations that do have sand beaches rather than stone and pebble beaches just because I think it's easier and more fun for the kids when they're really young. I also really enjoyed being in the sea quite a lot, which is really great because I think it's really important to get kids to not be afraid of the sea. Again, food was great. Who doesn't love tapas? And all in all, it wasn't too expensive. So there's another recommendation. Definitely check out Mallorca if you're looking for a holiday. So let's talk about the Jet2 Holidays Ultimate School Trip Competition. The nationwide competition all across the country for nine school classes to win an all expenses paid trip to Seoul, Kathmandu Park and Resort in Mallorca. What's also super fun is the trip will feature educational workshops from celebrity hosts Dick and Dom. I remember Dick and Dom from when I was young. I always remember that like bogey thing shouting in the library and all those sorts of things that they got to up to. They're really funny so it's good to know they're still on the go. So the competition is for 9 to 13 year olds to create some sort of promotional piece for Soul Kathmandu and it can be anything from a picture to a video or a poem or a song just as long as it's something original and unique to you, then definitely go for it and submit something super fun for them to consider. The winning classes will also get to experience loads of one-off opportunities, such as VIP send-offs at the airport, a welcome dinner with celebrities, and the ultimate school disco. How fun! For the runners-up, 45 schools will win a thousand pounds worth of school equipment vouchers, which is also a great prize, so definitely worth entering. I loved school trips when I was younger. I had so much fun. I was lucky enough to go to school abroad. I was at school, well, secondary school in Holland and we did all sorts of trips to places like Luxembourg, Switzerland, New York. So we were very lucky and school trips were just such a fun special time and a lot of my really good school memories come from school trips so yeah definitely encourage your kids to enter or if you are of that age then definitely enter and let me know if you have let me know what you've done to promote the Seoul Kathmandu Resort. Here's what some of the Kathmandu Resort and Park looks like and we're being shown around by the lovely Jake and the lovely Mariana who are showing a lot of the bits and bobs that are around to entertain kids so there's all sorts. Things like 4D experience, mini golf, a splash park, so much. There's so many things to do. There will be a link in my description below where you can find out loads more information, see all the terms and conditions along with details on how to enter. The deadline to enter is Wednesday the 28th of February. We're in February now so get going. We've flown with Jet2 before and we've had a really good experience. They've always been easy to travel with, really easy to book, really easy to 
find, really easy to get your fares, with decent enough flight times, they fly to good destinations, and yeah, we've always had good customer service when we've flown with them before, so they'll be a good one to win a prize with. Next up on the places that I would recommend for family holidays that we've done before is Cyprus. We went to Cyprus last year, we went in September, the weather was amazing, it was 30 plus the whole time, but not too hot, not like a horrible heat. It was really, really great. The Cypriots are so friendly, really friendly, love kids, could not be more accommodating. We rented a car again and went exploring. There is so much to do and see in Cyprus. There are so many fun places to go, lots of family friendly places to go. The resort we stayed in was Nissi Beach. I think next time if we go back to Cyprus, we'd like to stay in Paphos, just because it's a different area of the country to get out and explore, because we didn't quite manage to get that far over to the west when we were exploring. We were kind of down on the south, right on the coast, which was great, and kind of near Ayanapa. There was plenty to do. I was quite surprised as well by how cheap food and drink was, actually. I was expecting it to be more expensive than it was. I'm not sure why, but we had so much fresh fish, fresh salads, lots of really, really fresh, lovely food and fruit, which was really nice. When we went to Cyprus, it was the four of us, so Lachlan was quite young, so it was a really good place to take a toddler and a baby. I think sometimes that's quite hard to balance the needs of both your kids and match it to a hotel or a holiday or some sort of resort, but yeah, where we were in Cyprus was great. I have done quite a lot of vlogs when we've been abroad, so I'll pop them below as well if you fancy checking them out if you're interested in seeing exactly where we went. So Cyprus would be really, really high up on our list for recommendations for family holidays. We've also done a city break. We went to Copenhagen, which was great, quite pricey. And when we went, it was really cold and quite rainy, but it was such a beautiful city. Lots to do and see. We did a little boat thing that kind of went all the way around so we could see everything. We met friends who actually live just across in Sweden. So they knew Copenhagen quite well and took us about here, there and everywhere. I did a big blog post on it, so I'll link the blog post below if you fancy checking it out, but it is a lovely place to take kids, definitely. And then lastly, staying in the UK. We've done all sorts of things around the UK. We've stayed in holiday resort type places. We've just rented holiday lettings and stayed in places. I think if you just kind of research what's near you or how far you're willing to drive and then have a quick Google, have a look around, on travel blogs to find kid-friendly places nearby then there's so much to do and see here in the UK so you don't even always need to go abroad but that's it that's all the places we've taken our family so far not quite sure where we're planning this year we're gonna have to sit down and have a good think about it so if you've got any recommendations then definitely pop them in the comments below because I'd love to hear them good luck to all the schools that have entered so far in the Jet Tea Holidays ultimate school trip competition and good luck to all those who are still to enter and thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll hopefully see you soon bye